So this is what I'm going to do. Um, so this is the uh, what they call that uh, the dimmer for the high and low beam. So this is like a mechanism that just moves the something like a, a shutter. So it's like a shutter that uh, uh, goes in in front of your uh, bulb and then it uh, moves up and down to uh, to deflect the reflection of the light so so you have the illusion of having a high beam and a low beam there so this is this is the one that controls the uh, the high beam which controls the solenoid and if you open this one you see that so I'm going to put some wire in here going to the um, uh, high beam terminal of my bulb in here, of my LED bulb. So this one I'm going to actually take out. So I just uh, release this uh, spring over here, and this one, I think this one over here too. Yeah, once you have that. Once you have the bulb out, you could actually just like uh, cut this one, cut this wire, and this is your low beam. Okay, so this is my setup. This is taken from the old one. So this one is your high beam that, that moves. Yep. So that's your high beam, and then that one, that position is low beam. And then yep, instead of uh, instead of the uh, HID bulb in there, I use the LED. And so far, it yeah the H4 actually needs some trimming. If you look at that. I have to like uh, grind some areas there so that uh, it will be like in the correct position, which is like this. It should be like uh, 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 facing sideways you know the the beam of the LED light should be facing sideways and I have to remove this cup because the uh, the, uh, the shutter in here takes care of that and then for my connection yep so for my connection the black one is your negative the red one is your high beam I mean the, the low beam and then the blue one is the high beam. So I'm going to try take this out. This is like a very small box. This cup. Yeah, I'm going to take this. Okay, so I got the cup out. There's no more cup now. But uh, I have to retain the screw because that screw actually keeps the assembly in tight. So I'm going to put in the the ring. I'm gonna put the uh, LED bulb, but I have to make sure that it's uh, pointing downwards. Oh, that it needs to point downwards. So, probably like this. Kind of loose. So I got the LED in place now, um, and this is the downward position. Yep. So I'm going to do the wiring. I'm gonna cut this. This is going to the ballast. Cut this one. And then uh, I'm gonna also cut some wire in here to tap into the high beam portion. Okay. Now I got the all connections. So for my low beam, 
yeah this is uh, red and then for the high beam goes to the I just tap into the positive portion of the shutter and my LED is there now it's not it's just totally secured and this one is not connected to anything um, this should connect to the ballast I just leave them there I'll probably just cut this off or I'll probably just gonna leave it Testing the light, uh, it's working now. The cloud volume is working. And this is the production. Yeah, the thing is that the other side is a halogen assembly. This one is an HID assembly. So the HID assembly seems to be more straight in terms of production. Now I'm gonna try uh, do the high beam. Yep. So the high beam works. 